Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And we are about just in time for St. Angel's Flea Market. Right on time. So we're hoping to find some vintage scores and have a good day. And probably find a vintage score would be really nice to find something vintage to make my day. May those good luck gods give me some good fortune today. <laughs> and yes, this is my entire toy haul of figures I have so far from both freebies and St. Angela's here. So, and one from an antique mall. And this figure, I had some money left over and got a Dollar Tree, this blind bag transformer. But we did score some figures at St. Angela's, just not as much as I was hoping for. We got a G.I. Joe Series 2 1980s. Storm Shadow, when he switched to G.I. Joe, we got a 1980s Smurf, which was a nice find. A knockoff Bart Simpson's keychain. Look at that. It's like Bart Simpson. You know what I mean? Only paid a quarter for him. This figure we paid five bucks for. That was my, for my antique mall find. The GI, the uh, 1993 Ninja Turtles, Samurai, Donatello. And I added a weapon to him so he'd be more complete. So he's got a staff with some blades. So he's got a bow staff, but it's got blades on it. It fits with the samurai theme, if I do say so myself. But the 1980s G.I. Joe Series 2 Storm Shadow, who switched to G.I. Joe, was a nice find. This blind bag was nice to find. And for the other things, we got some weapons we gave to some random figures. Figured we'd show them off. This weapon we got for free, and we gave it straight to our grunt here. So he has a gun, so he can go shoot some Spartans. Like, take this, Spartan! Pew, pew, pew. And I couldn't help that shooting noise. It's a fun noise to do. And we got a sniper rifle for this figure for free. And now, he's no longer Tunnel Rat. He's Long Range. A member of G.I. Joe that shoots from long range distances. And now he's a member of G.I. Joe. We also got a good gun that matches Lando Carissian. Look at that. He's got a big gun. So you can go take this, Stormtroopers. Pew. With that big gun and take out some stormtroopers. That is just cool, right? And I got those guns for free. Another thing we got for free. We got this penguins. Bobblehead. Of a fam famous penguins player. I do like collecting bobblehead figures. I just don't have a lot of them. I probably got like five bobbleheads in my collection. But yeah. I'm now collecting bobbleheads because they're cool. And last but not least for the freebies, we got this little card that reminds me of Age of Extinction Bumblebee. The way it's designed and sculpted. There's no way to tell who made this. Just it was made in China. Yeah, made in China, so it's a knockoff, so not official. But other than that, this was an epic day. And you're probably wondering why don't I have such a big toy haul. Well, they weren't having the 50 cent sale today until tomorrow. But I made off with some good vintage scores for today on the 12th of July. So this is my scores for today. And I'm so glad I went to St. Angel's Flea Market. We scored a lot of good figures for good prices. And I am looking forward to putting these on my shelf. And reviewing some of these. We're probably going to throw the random figures I just got into a review with the random figures for the last figure review of this week. With the Smurfette, and the Magic Mixie, the Custom Monocle, and Bart Simpson, and probably haven't done a Turtles figure in a while. We'll throw the Turtle figure in there too. But other than that, that's what we're reviewing. And the rest of this will be held on to for further notice. 
are these figures worth the money? Yes. These figures were so awesome to find, and I was so snoked, stoked to find a couple vintage 1980s scores. And this G.I. Joe Extreme Snake Eyes doll action figure, you will see these vintage scores on my Facebook page, shared with the Goody Will Gang as well. So I hope you look forward to seeing some of my epic vintage scores for this month. But we have one more place we're going to to sell some toys next week. We are heading to the Monroeville Exchange on the 20th. And we're going to be selling some more stuff to make some more money and buying some more stuff for the collection. But other than that, I look forward to going to the exchange and showing you what I got. But this has been Eddie Hill. St. Big Toy Hall for this 12th, before I go to camp, and Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.